Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get a ton of casino chips using this method and of course for anyone who doesn't know you can actually trade in casino chips for cash so this is also a really good money method so before we actually get started with this not only do I want to thank you guys for the fact that these casino chip videos have done really well they're just uh, blowing up. They're probably the only reason why my views are actually doing decent. And so I want to thank you guys for that. And let's go ahead and just give our daily shout outs to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you want to be in the next shout out, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe, and also comment down below it. That way you can help with the video's ratings. And have more people see this. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and begin with it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and make your way over to the Diamond Casino. If you guys don't know, it's going to have this diamond shaped logo. And it's going to be on the northeast side of Los Santos. So just go ahead and go there now. Once you make it, just want to go ahead and make your way inside of the casino. So for this one, you actually have two different options to go to. You can either go to the casino or go to your penthouse. So for this one, you do not need a penthouse in order to do this, or at least for this exact one. Now in order to actually get casino chips, what you want to do is make your way over to this cashier here, and then you can trade in cash for chips. The most you can do is 50,000 chips at a single time. And you can also get your dailies visitor bonus of a thousand chips. So I've already got plenty of them, so I don't really need any. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make your way over to the inside track, which will be on the left side of the casino. After that, take another left, and there's going to be a whole screen with a bunch of little computers around it. What you want to do is go ahead and make your way over to one. This is actually the first time I'm going to be on the front row. I'm always usually on the second. But now what you want to do is go ahead and sit down. And then you want to place a bet. So the one we're going to be doing is the main event. The single ones don't make you that much. But the main ones do a really good amount. You see here the event starts in 3 minutes and 53 seconds. So let's go ahead and just place our bet. So the one we're going to be looking for is either evens or the best number possible. So out of this entire list, we have six different options to choose from it. So the best chance we have winning is number one, which is crackers and please. I, I don't know how that even makes sense. But anyway, what we're going to do is go ahead and bex the max amount, which I'm not sure what it is for this one. I believe it's 10,000 chips. Yep. And if we win, the payout is going to be 40,000. So from here, we're just going to go ahead, place the bets, and then wait till it starts. So you may notice in this clip, the horse changed from number one to number two. And that is because I forgot to record the first one. So this is the second one that we're doing, but the first one was the introduction. And so the first one, we did win for that one. But this one is a different uh, clip. So this is the second horse. Now, don't really pay attention to the beginning of the entire race. Because it's going to be a really back and forth. The horses go from really slow to really fast. And it just keeps going back and forth. So it's best to just wait till the end. Before you start panicking if your horse is going to win or not. So we actually was able to win that one. So you can see here we made ourselves 40,000 chips. So now that we won, let's go ahead. Open up our interaction menu. Go over to style. And then change our outfit out. If you see here on the bottom right corner, it now causes a force save, meaning that it is going to save the chips. So let's just go ahead, sit back down again, and let's see what we can do. So, place bet. Evens. There is no evens. Why is there no evens? Come on. Okay, now we're going to look at the best possible one for this. So, we have these two, which are going to be by far the best. So, we're just going to have to choose one. So we're just going to choose this one, number three, and then we do our max bet, which is going to be at 10,000 chips, and we get a payout if we win of 30,000 chips. So again, we just wait here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my task manager. 
So since I'm on PC, I'm going to open up my task manager. If you guys play on console, you do not have to do this step. But if you guys lose it, then I'm going to show you what to do on PC and also what to do on console. So now we're just going to wait for it to go. We got 3 minutes and 53 seconds till it starts. So we're just going to wait for it now. It started back again. Now this time we have a pretty low chance of actually winning this. Keep in mind we are horse number 3. And if we do lose, I'll show you what to do. So of course we're just going to go ahead and probably not even watch this because... This just gives me too much anxiety, so I just like to wait till the end. Do we actually win? We actually won that. Okay, I didn't expect to win it. Anyway, we're going to do this again. Get out of the seat. Go over to the interaction menu. Go to style. Go over to only outfit or just change your outfit out. And then it's going to save again. And we'll do this over and over until we basically lose. And then I'll show you what to do next. But first, let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor for today's video. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. Okay, we got a whole nother selection of horses here. Now, I'm not sure which one is going to be the best. So it looks like the best one for this selection is going to be Omens and Ice. Which will give us a payout three times the amount if we win. So let's go ahead, do the max. So I believe we'll get 10, I mean, sorry, 30,000 if we win for this. Yes, yep, 30,000. Awesome. And now we just place the bet and then we wait a whole nother four minutes. So even though it, this does seem like a, a really slow thing with having to wait five minutes for the event to start, it's honestly a better money method. Than most right now, unless you consider like KO Preco, which I believe they nerfed it, so I don't know how good it is now. And not only is it a good method, but also you don't have to be any level or requirement for this. Okay, so we did lose this one. You can actually see everybody was so close to each other on that one. So, what we're gonna do is do not leave the seat, do not leave at all. What you wanna do is for me, um, go ahead, open up that task manager. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Grand Theft Auto and just spam in task. What this does is it automatically ended the game and it prevented the save from happening. For console players like PlayStation or Xbox, you just want to close the application out without leaving the seat. So now we're going to go ahead and launch the game again and pay attention to the amount of chips I had before I bet it on that very last one. And we should have that same amount after we load back in the game. Okay, we now just loaded back into GTA 5, and I did spawn outside the casino. If you want to do this too, just to make this a little bit faster, all you gotta do is press options, go over to line, then you want to go over to options, and you want to scroll down until you find spawn location, and either set it to last location, or you can set it to your casino penthouse, which is going to be over here somewhere, there it is, casino penthouse. But I always like to leave on last location just due to it's usually more convenient than going to one spot all the time. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and enter the casino and we should have the same amount of chips as we had before we did bet on it. So it should be around like 47 something. Yeah, 47, 390. So there we go. You see there this method works really good. It's actually worked for a while now. But... For some reason, there's a lot of other players that still haven't seen this, so because of that, that's why I'm posting it. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this. Also, follow me on my TikTok because I am trying to reach 10,000 followers to start getting monetized. So help me with that, I would really appreciate it. With that being said, you guys have a great one, stay safe out there, and goodbye.